Okay, so how have you been? Oh, uh, you know, doing well. How are you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. You know, we've been getting quite a few comments on the, uh, you know, on YouTube and on our website about uh, your trailer there that you made. We have? I think it's about, yeah, yeah, I've been reading up on them. I think that it's uh, about time that we do an episode where we talk a little bit about it. What do you think? I guess so. Has been a while. By the way, you weren't going to dress up for this episode. You're just going to wear your everyday clothes. You don't like my clothes. You don't even wear glasses. Shh! Don't tell them. Welcome to another episode of Saturday Night Factional Fight Plays Worm Online. And my name is Brian, and this is my brother Adam. And uh, this was Adam's decision and Adam's episode <laughs> on what we were going to do this week, so I will pass it off to him, and he will be your host for today. And I will eat my homemade crumpets. I'll do my best to be the host, although I don't really have much practice at it. Um, I'm sure you do. Welcome. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of feedback. Or, I mean, I shouldn't say we've been, but uh, you've been getting a lot of feedback on that uh, trailer that you made. Um, and I thought about what would be a good episode uh, related to that video. Uh, and um, I think that just the idea of a behind the scenes, uh, get an exclusive interview with the creator of the video, uh, and that sort of thing would be a good a good way to showcase it and just answer a lot of the questions that we've been getting. Uh, so, yeah, that's where this idea came from, and hope you guys enjoy it. So, I think it's nighttime right now, so not really great to do. <laughs> it is nighttime. Yeah, like always, we get the worst of luck. Um, but if you look up, there's a, there's a nice eclipse happening between two two of the moons there. Oh, are you in a place that you can look up? I see the jackal. Well, find the other moons. Oh, it's, there it is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's got three moons. How many moons are there? There's three moons in total. Mm. So we see them yeah. all. Yeah. That's now, nice. I think we'll save the, the village update for... A little bit later, just so that we can wait till the daytime. I don't know. What do you think about that? Yeah, show them some things here. People can see the new statues if you haven't seen already. Um, oh yeah. I see. I'm showing the the girl and the new boy statue right here. Nice. You could really see the difference considering that there's a dog right there, and <laughs> it doesn't look at all like as crisp. Mm hmm. Excuse me. Yeah, so it's quite a big upgrade. It's these two as well as the the new nymph. They all have their own little like pedestal, just the, their own little like uh, stage that they're standing on. <laughs> it's, it's actually quite nice. It's always good to see new updates. Yeah, as well as the pig, like I it. think, got into the game today. Mm, nice. I'm sure people, if you have a pig, you can see it. It's <laughs> they're <laughs> they're walking around. They actually have animation now, so that's nice moving their heads awesome awesome now all they do need is a, a little bit of sound mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so let's uh, get right into it um, now if you haven't seen the video yet the, the, the trailer that Brian made 
then you should be able to find it on our website at servicesaredown.com or you can find it on our YouTube channel, uh, Factional Fight. Um, it's awesome. It inspired me to play the game even more. It's like we've been getting a lot of positive feedback from it. Um, so at the same time, however, we're getting a lot of questions because it seems like, mm -hmm. you know, you, you got a lot of footage from the game that doesn't seem possible to get normally. <laughs> and a lot of people were wondering about that. But uh, let's start simple. Why did you decide to make a trailer for Worm? I think it was pretty simple. Just... Excuse me. If you actually look around like I did, and I think other people were doing that too, and I saw some suggestions, or some comments, I should say, of other people also talking about how they were thinking of creating one as well. And it's sim simply for the fact that there really wasn't one available. Mm -hmm. And about five years ago, I created other trailers for other games that I played. Most right, notably I... Vanguard, Saga of Heroes. I don't know if anybody ever played that game out there that now is playing Worm or watching this video. I created a minimum, I think it was three different trailers over the span of a few months about mm -hmm. that game. Uh, one of them was was posted to Massively.com, I remember. Oh, yeah. And what was the response to those videos? Like, did the community... You know, it's about the same as this, like this and... one. Okay, this so you video. got, like, a, a lot of response and a lot of... Yeah, responses likes. from people. People really liked it. I mean, back then, I know Vanguard had their own professionally done trailers and stuff, but they're really old, and the problem with that game, I don't really want to get into the whole thing, was mm. the fact that a lot of things never made it into the game so all the trailers had all these like mounts and like places that never actually made it into the game so the trailers mm -hmm. are almost like lies like i see <laughs> so i created the trailers and the one thing i guess i don't want to get too into it but it's all mm -hmm. uh just me running around goofing around trying <laughs> to, <laughs> putting together if you if you guys haven't seen that you can look it up on youtube I think you just look up on the unofficial Vanguard trailers. Mm. Uh, Vanguard trailer. There's there's at least three. I I did a bunch for like guilds and stuff. Like in that game, you create a big guild hall, and I created one for a guild that I was in. If I recall correctly, it wasn't just like goofing around. Like they actually looked professionally done. Uh, and oh yeah, but behind they... the scenes, it's just me goofing around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to the worm video. Um, mm. How long did it take you to make this one video? In total? Mm -hmm. In total, from like from the moment that you thought, hey, I'm going to make a trailer, to the moment that it was ready to go. I think in total, it must have been in and around two months off and on. Okay, so two months, that seems like a lot of work. Were you like focused on it? Were you working like eight hour days on it? Or was it sort of like a a hobby thing where you were, you know, just a little bit yeah. here and there. It was definitely more of a hobby thing. Mm. Uh, I know for quite a while I stopped working on it, as well as with uh, the game with Worm. Certain shots had to be done at certain time, mm -hmm. uh, seasons, I guess you could say. That's so right. there was a while where it was just all winter. I mean, everyone remembers in December. If you guys were playing back in December, it was just winter for like a long time. That's right. They reverted it to winter for Christmas. Yeah, and then and then then it went back to the normal cycle. It went back to the normal cycle, and it seemed turned, to be autumn. It turned autumn, and at the time, I was thinking, I was thinking, okay, uh, I can get my autumn shot because I needed one that would look like autumn, and then I didn't. And then it turned back to winter, 
That's right. Yeah, I thought maybe it'll go to spring after winter. I was so I remember in winter I'm like I was so excited it's going to turn spring and then I'll get my spring shot and then I'll be able to just film the rest and then it went to autumn like just That's about the right. worst <laughs> the worst right. uh season it could possibly get to for me finishing the trailer which I wanted it to be my, mainly summer mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. for a lot of it. So it was put on hold for quite a while. <laughs> During the winter, mm-hmm. that's when we went so, to the Impalong and that sort of thing. That's right. That's right. So two months that didn't that doesn't seem so long if if you're considering the fact that you were down, uh, waiting for the next season. Um, so, with relation to that sort of thing, like I know you were trying to show off the seasons, and uh, you know get certain shots. Like what other things were you trying to show off about the game? Uh, what things did you like to like wanted to focus on? Like what was your vision about this video? Well, when I first had the idea, I knew that I wanted to wait until at least Worm 1.0. That was supposed to be the time when the game was mainly complete. We had so you had the vision of this well before Worm 1.0? That's right. Okay. And I, I knew that I could create one before then. But this game doesn't necessarily translate well to video mm-hmm. because there's no motion. And who wants to watch, like, the same green Robin Hood guys standing <laughs> around? like it did... With the same, green, uh, the same goatee. <laughs> holding, holding their shovels or whatever, like, by their side. Like they're, yeah. they're, it doesn't translate well to video, even though it translates well to gameplay. So mm-hmm. then now with the animations and... Uh, all that coming in and multi-story housing I I was I was really waiting for that and I, I didn't not waiting for it as in like I already had everything else ready to go and I was just waiting for Worm 1.0 I wanted to, to Worm 1.0 to come out and then we would see what exactly made it into the game mm-hmm. and then take it from there I think I see, I see. so like the planning could happen could only like had to sort of wait to 1.0 that's right before you can sort of think about what you wanted to show okay so what did you want to show what what was the essence that you were trying to convey i wanted to convey why we like this game so much Mm -hmm. uh i mean we have friends that play that don't play this game that we would have loved to have played this game so the question was always why do we love to play this game and that's not necessarily an easy question to answer, mm-hmm. right? If it's... somebody came to you and said, why do you play Worm online? <laughs> you know, everyone's going to have their, like, one thing or their few things that they, they really, like, focus on. This is why I play. I love, and it could be, like, as general as I love the openness. I love the, you know, I love the the crafting I love how you, the choices, like, it's not necessarily anything specific, right? Mm -hmm, It's like mm -hmm. somebody listening to this that are playing other games, they're all going to say something like, well, I've got choices in my game. I've got, you know, openness (laughs) in my game. Uh, (laughs) I can play different paths in my, like, there's, how do you express why Worm is is the game that you play over other games? So it was more (laughs) trying to use worm uh trying to 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 focus the attention on people that play the games that we used to play and addressing the the trailer to that group that audience Mm. the audience of like you know i'm interested in a more open sandbox game i'm currently you know i have this background in mmos if those people watch the trailer i wanted to at least get them excited Mm-hmm. I don't know. If that like, there's sense. that one scene where uh, you're flipping through all of the different professions, I guess, the different, uh, yeah, professions, mm. and uh, I think that that would appeal to a lot of people who are playing games where you're stuck in one or two like crafting professions, let's say, or mm. one or two classes, let's say, and then you start seeing like you could be this and you could be this and this and this 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 this, and then then that scene where it's just like you can or be them all and. I think that that's, that should have some impact on some people. I definitely hope so. Mm-hmm. I mean, we definitely went through and listed 
off anything that see at first I listed off everything that I thought was that could work in the game right that that sounded great like fishing <laughs> you could fish but yeah. you can't just like you can go out on a boat and fish I thought this would be great for a shot I got it all set up I was gonna set up the shot and then the guy put on the fishing pole and it was coming out backwards <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, oh, yeah. no, I can't film this. <laughs> that is the true essence of worm. <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody's holding their <laughs> their items backwards now. I don't know. So I had to scrap that. Yeah. So there's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff like that where I couldn't, even after Worm 1.0, I can't film it. I can't make it look nice. Mm -hmm. uh, crafting is another one. That's right. Right? If you want to show someone, like, hammering away at a sword or, like, you're like all you still just kind of stand there at most you like do this action like where you like mm -hmm. twist your hands <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of things that you seem to have have to have avoided mm. like you didn't want to show that it seems um that just, aspect of it yeah, just but, but, but but i mean having played this game like i know that uh it's almost like part of the excitement is the anticipation that these things might eventually be, be added or changed or fixed and it's like an ever-changing game like the new statue and the new pig That's uh, right. anime model you know and I've been surprised at how they keep adding stuff mm -hmm. how stuff gets keep because when I think when we started uh, the first thing I told you when we tried this game out was don't expect any updates I don't expect like whatever's in the game don't expect anything else like from an, mm -hmm. from an indie developer we had no idea where they stood that's right or how often the game was updated and we're just yeah. like if we have to be happy with what's in the game now in order for us to determine whether we want to play or not but i've been very surprised with how much the game has actually updated in the last year that we've played mm -hmm. especially yep and and uh, there's a lot of uh, things on the horizon too so there was a question, uh, I can't remember who asked it, but there was a question on the, um, I believe it was Twitter or something anyway. It was specifically a technical question about what programs or what kind of computer setup did you use in order to uh, video record the trailer? Okay, so is that a question of what I used to actually film the shots? I mean, it's. I think they just wanted to know the whole setup, like... I see. Beginning to end, like, how did you, uh, I mean, did you do anything special for, for seeing the shot, or did you just record it, the raw footage from the game, or how did you set it up so that you got, were able to record it? Well, the first thing that I used, or at least had set up, I'm not sure if I used this, was uh, DX Tori. Okay, which is, and what uh, is... Just a, it's software that records whatever's on in your game. Okay, so it's specifically for uh, a game like yeah. recording. Uh, I'm okay. not sure if I ended up using that because I, I have it did have some issues with it. Mm -hmm. So I also use like what I'm using now, which is XSplit, which is more for streaming. <laughs> video okay. uh, games and stuff like that now I use it I just re I just hit the record button and I I record locally and upload I these see. videos later but I started using that mainly because I was having a much less issues so I did it unconventionally I see so those are the two programs that I may ha or may not have used now were there any no, I used them. I mean, were it was it, it so like I know XSplit so that just that, records. That's, yeah. that's not a free. That's not a free software, right? No. So like, if you're no. if you were to re recommend to somebody who, let's say, wanted to make their own game footage, um, like I know you're the technical guy. Like I, I personally am not the guy to like fiddle around with all these software, which is the reason why you're the one who's usually recording the, these videos. Um, but if you were to recommend to somebody how to do what we're doing for free or to record their own trailer for free uh, using free software what would there be anything that you would recommend you know what? I don't think I've found anything that that's free I mean, that's good yeah um, there was 
there was something I've never used. Something that's supposed to be very similar to XSplit. That's for okay. you. Okay. Where I saw it, I cannot... I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I so read it, it somewhere recently. In an article somewhere. Yeah. Uh, oh, here it is. It's called... Oh, you found the article. Uh, I, I ended up... Uh, I bookmarked it. Okay. It's called FF Split. It's okay. not called X Split. FF. <laughs> two Fs. Double F. Right. Uh, I don't know. I never used it, but it, I think it's open source. It's free. Mm. So who knows? Yeah. You could try it out. Let me know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I think that what everybody wants to know, whether they've asked it or not, is what is the process that you go through when designing and creating one of these trailers? Like, do you, do you just like take a few shots and start putting them together and, or, or like, what is the first thing that you do to approach a project like this? Uh, or, I mean, um, I mean, I could try to explain it to you, but maybe it would be better if we actually created one okay right now that's interesting what do you think all right let me come down there and see if i can i know see. it's dark but we can use that to our advantage okay <laughs> okay so let's so create it let's trailer. create one now what do you think okay sure so what what are we what are we doing here i i you're gonna have to lead me through this sure Let's do a short video. I picked. I have some random music here. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. I have it here somewhere. And. I thought. Wow, this is going to take a while. Okay, so you're talking about music. Is that something that we should do first? Sometimes, sometimes you have an idea, right? So let's say with the worm online trail, I had an idea. I had a vision of mostly, this is what I want the trailer to, to be like, right? Okay. So I'll start writing a script first for that. I'll just start jotting down notes like, what can you do in worm online? You could do mm. this, you could do that, you can do that. I just write all sorts of things. Most of it doesn't make it into the trailer. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, if this is the type of trailer I'm going to create, a trailer where it's like, tries to embody the game in a two minute or a one minute script or trailer, like, I, mm -hmm. you have to make concessions. You have to dump a lot of what you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> and you go, So you'd okay. have to whittle it down. Yeah. So at the beginning, it's just like brainstorming. Brainstorming ideas. Throw out everything. Let's that let's like. do that. Now, in this case, I have a piece of music. Okay. If I can find it. Okay. Now, would you recommend that music is possibly a good strategy to start music, with? Music is... Uh, if you already have an idea of what you want to do, music is great. To, to just go and explore and try to find one that fits, create okay. one that fits. I don't really have the time to create an entire track these days. So... Like to create the music. Yeah, yeah. that would take okay. a long time. Yeah. So here's one that I found. Uh, you won't be able to hear it. Okay, but our viewers will. Is this it? No, this is not it. You know what? Did I even download it? <laughs> No, I did not download it. I will download it now. Okay, so here's one. Oh, apparently I need to sign in. That was quick. That I will quickly... Go here for you guys. Okay, so where are you getting this from? Now, there's all sorts of free websites you can go to and find some free music. Like free as in the license is free or the actual download is free? That the license oh, this was, is free. The license is free. So this is a question that 
you had been asked on the forum, I believe, about this. Mm -hmm. um, when you got your the original song, or the song for the for the trailer, um, like were you thinking about licenses, or were you? Were you I was just... definitely thinking about licenses. So I I actually went to a website and was pondering. I found, I spent about a day or two, like literally hours and hours on on a website, just going through every song. Okay. Um, it was it was a it was a website where you pay money for for tracks. You pay money for the license to use this the song. Okay, so it's not um, only you're paying for the music, you're also paying for the license to use it in your own commercial, like a commercial use, right? Correct. Okay. And I found the perfect song. It's the song that you guys hear in the trailer. There's a few things wrong with it, but stuff that I could tweak make it the perfect song. To give you example, for example, the ending of the song was not good, not okay. what I wanted, so I I changed it. <laughs> now, how did you change it? I use music editing software. Oh, okay, so you actually composed the ending. I changed the ending, yeah, <laughs> and I, but it was the perfect song, and I'm like, do I really want to pay this much money? for the song it was like 30 bucks at the time okay okay we really want to spend 30 bucks to have the song you know it's or do i just go and try to find a free song do i spend the time to create a song and eventually i said forget it i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna buy the song it was the perfect song here i finally found the song that we're we're gonna use now okay i believe that you've heard it before yes um, you have played it for it's me. a violin and piano it's a very sad song let me play it for you guys very sad mm -hmm. I like it though it's nice so therefore that's what the trailer is going to be about so I'm basically uh, making a trailer based on the music at this point okay so this is a trailer that we're creating right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so we're starting with nothing but the music right <laughs> okay. now I've had this conversation with you before um, about music and when it should be considered and I recall you re recommending like music needs to be one of the first things if not the first thing that you should look at or that you should get I, I always feel that music is the essence of the the piece now the essence why of the trailer it it if you watch my trailer without that piece of music mm -hmm. you just put it on mute it's not have it's not gonna have even this like the same impact at all so, so would you say that you designed the trailer around the music once I find the music I designed the trailer completely around the music okay completely around the impact I will change words to imp to display at a certain point in the in the song to give the biggest impact available for the trailer okay now I noticed like a lot of comments were like it, it, it like affected people emotionally almost <laughs> you know like their their emotions were like and impacted that's... by the video <laughs> yeah. and so you're saying that you designed it that way that you like interwove words with the music and the scenery with like so that it would impact people emotionally correct mm. that's like genius yeah you almost have to do that well <laughs> you almost have to know how to do that in order to make trailers I guess so <laughs> I guess so so let's say before we get jump right into this I don't even know if I have a screen region for this um, I'm gonna display a screen region of just my entire computer here. Okay. Okay, that was not it. Apparently, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> okay. So. No, I just have to warn our viewers that 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 there was a, a few technical issues at the beginning, and it you know we may end up having a crash. But yeah, I, it's only because not only is Brian recording this episode, he's also trying to record something else simultaneously. So. This might not work. So it let's, might not. <laughs> let's find out. Well, yeah, let's find out. So I opened up this document so that 
Adam can see it as well. Okay. And I just called it Worm Online for now. I shared it with you. It's just on Google Docs oh, or I whatever see, they I call it, G Drive. Got it. So basically, let's think up an animal. What do we want oh, it to be about? Okay. An animal. Think of Why an don't animal. we do the new, the new pigs? All right. So the new pig. The new pig. Um, okay. So, quickly, let's give this pig a name so we have some kind of emotional attachment to it, the pig. Okay. Wilbur. Yep. Sam. Piggy Sam or Pig Wilbur? Piggy Wilbur. Uh, the Pig Wilbur. Pig Wilbur. Okay. Okay. We'll go so, the Pig Sorry, Wilbur. <laughs> Let's call it Wilbur the Pig. Wilbur the Pig. Okay, so in this trailer, I'm gonna say, let's let's do uh, something like talk about an emotion that the pig will have. Lonely. Wilbur, Wilbur the Pig is lonely. Uh, talk about something that he loves. An object in Worm that we can display <laughs> that he would have, who just love. Could be anything. Doesn't matter. Could be okay. silly. Let's make this silly. All right. Um, I mean, do you want me to make it like he loves corn, or he loves? Uh, could be an object. Could be another animal. Could be another animal. Mm. Okay, so like he's in How love with another animal, or, or freedom. I don't know. Maybe, Why don't he, maybe we he doesn't it... like to be, uh, you know, a pet. Maybe he wants to roam free. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Why doesn't? Why don't we make it so that he loves, like another animal? Okay, so he like loves. He's in, like he's in love with one of the other animals. So Wilbur the pig is in love with Lucy the cow. The dog. Chastity the dog. <laughs> 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 Do we have a dog? Do we have a dog? I don't know. I don't know if we have a dog. I know we have a cow. <laughs> I just love the name Chastity. <laughs> Why do you love the name Chastity? Uh, I think it's just a good Do you want pun. it to be named Chastity the, <laughs> and the a cow? Four. Um, I know we have sure. a, a large dog, uh, like a champion dog, but they like they run all over the place. Chastity. Do you know how to spell that? Um, or you're in here. You you spell it. I'm just gonna look it up. <laughs> <laughs> we both have no idea how to spell it. Let's see. All the research that goes into making a trailer. You can correct me later. I think it's okay. So, chast chastity. What the? That's, That's not like right. a chastity belt. Chastity. Is that the name? There's a whole bunch of different. There's C H A S I T Y. I, apparently, Chast I spelled it right. C H A S S I D Y. Is that what you just said? Okay, sure. That's uh, I T Y. I T Y. But we well, can spell it however we want. Okay, I T Y. All right, sure. Chastity okay. the cow with a T. Uh, but since this is a a sad trailer, but he can't have her. Okay. But she doesn't love him. <laughs> okay. But she doesn't love him. Or they're in different pens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm just they... throwing out ideas. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> they're in different pens. Uh... So what can we do? He tries to get out, but cannot. Okay. Okay. So, 
Is there like an epic moment in the song that's like super sad? I do not think so. I think it's just very sad all around. Okay. Or we can rethink this whole thing and um, make it more like he's friends with the cow, but then the cow has to go get taken off to be butchered for its meat. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking sad here, right? But, <laughs> but we can film that. But love is, is never, what's a fancy way of saying this? But love is never kind. Uh, love is never see as we're doing this I'm remembering doing the exact same thing for the trailer that you were throwing out like phrases yeah and we would rework and rework and rework the phrases yeah, we're not going to get into that times. that in depth. Know, so this, this is... is love yeah. is never friendly love yeah th this would be like our rough draft or whatever but I remember going through those, like, I don't know how many times, whittling them away and changing them around. Chastity the cow. <laughs> it is Chastity the cow's last night before the end. <laughs> What's a nice way of saying that she's going off to get bitchered? Butchered. Uh, before the end, before. Her last night. Wilbur the pig alone <laughs> forever, but always with the memories. That doesn't sound good, That's but right. he will That's never well. forget his, his one and true love. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we got a rough draft of something here. I don't know yeah. if it's going to work. So, now that I have sort of what it's going to be about, we need a bunch of shots. And I might need your help. Okay. So, we only have one pig, so let's go steal a pig. Let's okay. go steal a pig. Sounds we need like a leverage more than one episode. pig? Uh, just one, yeah. I guess. <laughs> leverage is awesome. <laughs> Too bad that it was cancelled. Uh, a uh bring the two. adolescent pig, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have access Good to this thing pen? she's not on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fine with it. Just take her pig. Ooh. There you go. Actually, we might want to film. Let's film in here. Okay. That'd be perfect. So, a lot of people were wondering how I kind of like flew mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't actually fly. I, all of the footage that I take is all in game and all <laughs> of what you could already do in the game. Yeah. So, how do you want me to position this pig? Uh, bring the pig facing me and just let him go. Like sort of facing you or facing you dead on? Eh, facing me. Whatever. Bring him into the pumpkin patch. Okay, so let him go and then drag that other pig away. So we don't okay, mistake so like... in which pig we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, to make the video more dynamic, I always try, uh, you know, you always try to, uh, slow down your character. One trick that I do all the time is in this game it's easier. I can just hit climb. I hit F10 to get rid of the the screen here. See how I'm I'm walking slowly now. Mhm. Mm 
Yeah. It's going to be things. laggy because I'm really, really, really kind of doing too much right now. I have way too much stuff open. Okay. Now the pig is going to be tough because he's so tiny. Look at how tiny he is. So it's hard to get him in the shot. So anyway, mm -hmm. with the trailer, I'll always try to do a, a moving shot. Whether it's a... I, I find that doing sideways is, is very... Doesn't really translate well sometimes. Okay. Do like a diagonal shot. You know, I can do a bunch. I can so do a bunch in one thing. So here's a shot of the pig. Let's do one just standing still. So I'll hit the record on here. So one just standing still. Maybe wait for him to do something. No, actually this isn't. No, nothing. that'll take So forever. standing still. I'll go. Ooh, look at the lights. It's flashing. Yeah, lots of things got to avoid. Going backwards, yeah. going forwards. Other things you try to avoid, especially when you're doing a shot where you're going really far when you, or moving really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, some A lot of things in this game kind of just pop up. Maybe you should get the well in the background or the pumpkin in the background. Here's a Something. shot of him far away. So it's like I'm leaving him. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it from here. Oh, oh, that pig's getting... That pig is coming back. That's okay. Uh, don't have to wait for this pig to do anything. All right, so you move him out of the way, and... Okay, you can leave him. As long as he's staying still and you stay out of the shot. Here we go. I'll just leave him. In three, two, one, I'm going to go backwards. Okay, so that looked pretty good. So I got a couple okay. shots like that. Now, I'll quickly go to the to the cow. I guess we're going to do a cow. Okay. And I'm going to do a so couple we, shots with the same thing with the cow. Should we leave this pig here? Yeah, leave the pig there. Try to get it up against one of the walls towards the cow. I guess I'll use this cow. So I'll do the same thing. Okay, up against the fence. That's funny. We'll do the same thing. I uh, will. Oh, and see, I already just crashed. So you can see that, yeah, a lot of these things don't go as planned. Yeah. Let's try to get back into the game. I just crashed again. My goodness, Knight has a army of garden gnomes. Maybe I can fit that shot in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. It's got to remind me if I can actually get back into the game. If not, because I'm probably going to crash a couple more times, so I'm going to load a couple more. Can you get like guess how many of these gnomes she has? Ten. Yeah, that's a good guess. Eleven. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Yeah, she has a lot. That's yeah. okay. All right, so the cow's still here. My light is off. That's one bug I found recently. Oh yes. If you come back on, it's... even though your lantern's on, it doesn't actually show. I've seen that posted in the bug thread. So I know it's a known issue. This cow. Come on, cow. I am lagging now quite bad, actually. Mm -hmm. Not entirely great, but we move on. In three, two, one, I hit record. Just record the cow it's sitting here. Well, there's a nice moo. <laughs> I'm going to climb. This reminds me of the Bashaverse behind the scenes and there's this one where he's trying to get this cow to like look at him yeah. and he's just because the cow is just like turning left and right and <laughs> here we go <laughs> so I'm just doing a bunch of different shots with this cow I can splice this later
And my final one, I'm going to do one that's really close. And then I'll even get you in the shot there. And just go away from this cow. Actually, I don't really like that. Let's do it from above here. So it looks like I'm really leaving the cow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is pretty much my trick is that I have climb on so you can get some nice like slow-mo shots okay so about the same amount of shots both ways now well, there is... let's do one sorry sorry uh, let's have both of them let's do something fun let's put both of them next to each other here so I got Wilbur over here next to the fence. Oh, I can't, I can't get her closer. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta like, go down the fence a little I bit see. and then back. That's yeah. Now there was one scene I remember where you're like, going across a checkerboard road and the words say, "Explore a seamless world" or something like that. Um, how did you get that shot? the seamless world shot yeah. I basically was riding my horse yeah and I positioned myself so that I was out so you couldn't see the horse's head okay. and I just rode down the rode down the path as fast as possible so that part of the video isn't even sped up no, no, that part of the video is. So I took all that shot and then I okay. put it into the program and compressed it down as much as I could. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, it basically sped it up as fast as possible. And it, okay. it ended up looking pretty nice, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was sped Anyway, up. so okay. get get out of the shot for a second. You this should come, perfect. okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a shot on this side too. <laughs> so it's just them standing there. That's a nice shot. <laughs> they can't. Maybe, maybe I'll do one that's yeah, where you're moving. Where I'm moving. I'll just take a couple shots, just just to see how it looks. Oh, oh that sucks. Bring that. <laughs> it looks like standing away from it, from her. Yeah. All right. Okay. Guess I got to do this quickly. That's good. That's good. All right. It's too bad we can't like position. And there oh, goes the cow. <laughs> they obviously uh, don't like each other. They, I'm gonna make this whole love story, and they just hate each other. Ah. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Okay, I think I got the shot that I want. I haven't seen okay. the new the new well. Is that the new well? I can't tell. I think it is. Yep, looks like the new well. Don't remember it looking like with the lid on it. Yeah, I'm never going to get this last shot, am I? What what's the last shot? Like explain the, new the process one like this. Oh, I've been filming this entire time, apparently. Um, oh, okay. So let's do this. It's going to be hard to take a shot like this, but... That looks pretty good. Okay. Nice weird uh, angle there. Yeah. Okay, so... I could do another one if these guys just can stand still long enough for me to get over there. Yeah, do another one from this side of the fence. I am still filming, <laughs> apparently. Okay, I keep forgetting to turn <laughs> it off. Yeah. Nightshade just logged in. She's probably wondering what we're doing with her uh, animals. Yeah, oh, as long oh. as she doesn't see it. Here comes one of the other pig. It's okay, I don't have him in the shot yet. Yeah, but he was about to... Well, thank you for catching. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to stop 
that. That's enough for that. Um, so let's look at what we wrote down and see if I have enough here. Um, so Wilbur the pig is love with Chastity the cow, but they can't get together. It's the cows, it's Chastity's last night before she goes off to the slaughter. <laughs> and then Wilbur the pig is alone forever. Oh, did you add the word slaughter? Uh, we can later if you want. Okay. Anyway, so one more shot. Last shot I want of the pig. So bring the pig out. Okay. Should we also have a, a shot of a butchered cow? <laughs> We're going to have to kill one of our cows. <laughs> just for the... I'm sure we have oh. a venerable one somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> like Come on, we want to make the it animals. <laughs> all the cows in this video were harmed and butchered <laughs> for the making of the sh trailer. Uh, that would be an awesome ending. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> sure, we'll have to use one of our cows. Where am I going with this? Um, I guess the best view would be put him up to next to our token. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, oh wow, it's actually getting daytime. Yeah. What I'm thinking of is one of those really long shots where by, by long you mean He's going to look like a lo he's alone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so make him face me. Well, this is going to be tough, I didn't realize. I might just have to do it not on this cart. Maybe on a horse? I'll put this cart inside the farm for now. Okay. And I need that. Yeah, so you you can use carts to get like a higher vantage point. Yeah. There I know was a couple one... shots. Yeah, you can you can see oh, it. Get the horse, get the pig. Yeah, there's a couple of shots where you're you're standing on a big terraformed like hill mm -hmm. looking uh, looking down on on uh, I believe it was our, our labyrinth at Puzzle Plaza but that's like it wasn't like we terraformed it for the video it was like there's our, in the middle yeah um, there was a lot of shots where I'm on a cog the top of a cog oh that's right <laughs> that <laughs> might look like you're flying yeah I guess that might be the, the shots that people thought yeah, it looks you're like you're flying. Yeah, I'm actually nest. on the crow's nest. Oh, so, um, you would need two characters there. One that's uh, driving the car. Right, let's see if I'm going to crash. I might crash if I hit this button. I crashed. Yep. I saw that. Yeah. Let's load up a couple more things. Okay. I did have another question, so maybe we can ask sure. that while we're loading that up. It's the perfect time to just start asking lots of questions, if there's any questions even not with the trailer. Yeah, maybe we can do a question and answer. We didn't get that many questions. We got a lot of comments. Perfect. Uh, so we can maybe go through a couple of those. Um, so one of my questions is, I heard and I saw a picture mm -hmm. uh, posted by somebody, one of the devs, I think, that the trailer was shown at uh, a video game expo in Sweden was it am I right or wrong I I believe it was Sweden yeah oh I'm leading it still so yeah what was that all about was that exciting for you or or did you like did they ask you or or how did that work out uh, I think what happened was Wax was asking about the trailer mm -hmm. and he wanted a different version of it Really? Like in what sense a different version? I I switched out the font. Okay. And I I edited it just a little bit. But he he wanted a, a different version that he could he could use. I think he might have mentioned the expo at some point, but I I really don't remember. So <laughs> mm -hmm. uh he asked if he could, you know, I have, you know, if I was working on the the trailer that you know, the new trailer and I said 
uh, luckily I did already work on it. I sent it to him, and the next thing I know, uh, I see a picture on Twitter of <laughs> the trailer being... I would love to see a video. If anybody, I don't know, that went there, there's probably mm-hmm. not that many people, but if anybody <laughs> yeah. like, recorded that video, of, uh, I would be fascinated to see what happened there, what, what you guys what worm did at the expo mhm anyway so they did they tell you that it was going to be shown at an expo or did they just ask to use it or they asked okay to use it i believe at some point and what are your feelings about letting worm use the video for what they would like to use it for you know, all along, I, I created it with the intent that it could potentially become an official trailer. So I made sure that I used, uh, tried to use everything that legal possible. Like, you can't just go and steal anybody's music. You can't just go steal anybody's font. You can't mm-hmm. just go and, like, do that. So initially, I used the font, and I found out who made it. And I tried to contact that person, but... Uh, the guy's website was very old. Looked like it hadn't been updated since the nineties. The <laughs> the address, the email address was down, like I couldn't contact the guy at all. Mm-hmm. So I went and found a different a different font. Oh, okay. And that was that was free to use. Too bad for that guy. <laughs> yeah. So um, I Okay. I ended up doing that and so the entire trailer is you know able to become an official trailer if needed legally okay anyway i don't know if this shot's any good uh i want one more shot the game might crash so speaking of legal legal or official officialness of this trailer is is there any word yet on whether or not this will be an official trailer or is it sort of like gone by the wayside and will forever be the unofficial trailer I don't know nothing nothing that I've heard specifically okay. I am as of right now it's uh, an unofficial trailer that is being used officially okay. <laughs> I don't know oh, I crashed again this program uh, just sucks which one it's DX story that crashes. It could be become because I upgraded to Windows 8, and I, uh, see. I didn't quite do a re, uh, a format of my system, and there seems to be a lot of problems because of that. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. We'll get through this one last shot, and I need that shot to be of you. Of me. Yes, and no. and the pig. <laughs> Just you. Just me. Oh, we're we're gonna again. Where computer's all a mess. Just stand there. That's it. Okay. I've actually done this a bunch of times in, in my movies where I'll just tell people, yeah, just stand there. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Yeah, there's this, there's this one <laughs> shot of me. Uh, it's the mining shot. Like, mine any rock, that shot. And that's me <laughs> standing you. there mining the rock. And You're probably that not even shot paying attention. was not planned at all. You were just... We were just was, mining one day, and I'm like, this would be a perfect time for me to t- get this shot of you mining, of, of us mining, and uh, that's what I did. Yeah, so, like, I see it in the video for <laughs> You're the like, time. I'm like, what? I didn't even tell you I was doing yeah, that. Yeah, when did that shot happen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was funny. All right, here we go. So it's just a view. Very close up. <laughs> okay. I don't know why we're doing this, but... You must have some playing, kind of vision. You're playing a role in this. What do you want? Okay, you want the butchered? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, you seem to have the vision of how this is going to look. We don't need to have the but I think it's more effective if we don't show the person dying. Anyway, I'm sure Nightshade wants her pig back. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay, so if you if you feel like we shouldn't, then we don't need to. Okay, so let's say that is it. So I'm going to go and edit it and make okay. I hope to God that the shots, because I, usually what I would do is I, I would have the time to look over the shot, to play mm-hmm. back over and over again. You guys don't want to see me play back over and over again and make sure that yeah. everything's done. We don't have the time. So it's almost like I use movie. two different yeah. programs. In this case, I'm just going to use one called Vegas uh, Pro, Sony. Sony Vegas. They keep changing their name. 
Uh, it used to be called Sony Vegas Studio. Now it's called Sony Vegas Pro something or other. Okay. I don't know. Now approximately how long might this take? There is the trailer. Just to get Hopefully a Hopefully not too long. Okay. If I don't... If I do this properly. Okay. <laughs> I am just going to do something like... Like, while you're doing that, do you need to explain, or should we go to more questions? Yeah, go into more questions, sure. Okay, so I'm going to move to, uh, like, questions, just random questions that aren't related to this trailer, because I've run out of those. Um, this is from the most recent video, mm -hmm. uh, the one on, uh, what was our most recent video? Anyway, our most recent video. The Antonio444 asks, I was just thinking, those cows you have walking around your crops, aren't they destroying your crops? <laughs> you can answer that one. Yeah, well, that's a, you it's actually a good question. Here. Um, because it's a good newbie tip and trick, I guess, for those people who have just purchased or got possession of a cow or a horse. Um, Crops are actually one of the best things to have your cows or horses on. And yes, they can eat them and destroy them, but only if they're in the seed stage. So once your crops have grown out of the seed stage, they almost act like unlimited food for your animals. Now, if you have your horse, horse or bull attached to a cart, you can almost control where they're going to stay and you can position them over um, a growing crop that has gotten out of the seeded stage um, but worst case scenario they eat a crop or two and as long as your farming is up in the you know 30s or 40s or whatever you're going to get you're going to make that crop back and it's better than feeding them seeds I don't know if you've ever fed a horse seeds it could probably eat about 20 before it gets full mm. Well, so, whatever yeah. you said at least sounded sad because I had the music playing over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so keep going. So, okay. Or maybe uh, between the questions, I'll, I'll just yeah. say... Uh, all okay, I've done wait. is added the music. I've opened up Sony Vegas. And the reason why I use this, I also have uh, Adobe Premiere, which I could use. But I think if you're going to start filming or you want to do this, you want to edit video Sony Vegas is probably a lot easier to just pick up and learn it got very uh -oh. popular because I'm gonna have to pause <laughs> okay Sorry. so Adam's going up to um, take care of his little one oh let's take a moment oh. there goes the baby all right so the reason why I use Sony Vegas studio is mainly because it's easier to pick up. It got really popular uh, on the internet, especially for like internet people that were creating videos of their games, mainly because of how easy it is to just kind of like pick up and go. A lot of things that might take a little bit of getting used to in Adobe Premiere just kind of like instantly happens in Sony Vegas Studio Pro, kind of like crossfading and that sort of thing, uh, which you will see. I don't even know exactly what we're doing, but I'm going to import a bunch of shots. So here's one. See, all I do is drag it and bring it into the timeline. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? So as I, as I scrub it here, I can actually see sort of what's going on up in the preview. The preview is not perfect because it takes a lot of processing power. I'm also recording this video as I'm doing this. Uh, probably not a good idea. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. Oh, and like I said, a lot of these videos probably did not turn out very well. And that will happen. A complete and utter crash. My computer's a mess. <laughs> Let's see if it managed to save any of that. Of course it didn't. 
Anyway, I didn't do too much, so that's good. Let's see, violin. Let's save this and call it, let's put it somewhere where I can actually find it in the future. Website, no wait, that's not where I have it. I have it in videos, worm project. So let's call it Wilbur the pig. Let's turn it down so you can hear Adam while we go, when he comes back. Second thing I'll add is the pig shot. For some reason, DxTory just today started. Oh, come on. There you go. Recording. DxTory started recording two of my shots. One thing I don't like about DxTory, I don't know. Oh, no. I am crashing again. This is not going well. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be in the game as well. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm leaving the game just for now. Just in case there's something exactly happening here. Here we go. I am going to try to create this as quickly as possible. For you guys. Until Adam can come back and maybe answer the rest of the questions. Alright, I keep going in the wrong spot. Videos? Worm Project? Wilbur the Pig. There's Wilbur. Now let's import a video file and see what happens. I'm just going to hit save. So I'm going to have a quick shot of just Wilbur from far away. Let me zoom in to the track just a little bit here so I can see what I'm doing. So I have a little bit of time before the music starts. So I can just grab from the top here and fade that in. The music fades in. Now again, even if I slice this, so I can sit here and I can slice the video here in half and delete half the file. But if I just uh, put my mouse over here and extend it more, it brings that part of the video back. You never actually lose it ever. Oh, there's a little tidbit. So it's a little while before before DxTory actually starts recording properly. I want to start it right when it. So there it goes, and there's Adam. You're back. Yep. I'm back. All right. So I'm just starting this video. So far, I don't have too much. I've got Wilbur the pig in there. I'm gonna have one shot. Uh, I'm gonna bring back maybe a second shot. So you just kept recording? <laughs> yes, I happens? just kept recording. <laughs> Wasn't that the cutest? Yeah. <laughs> he looked really funny. He looked really tired. Oh, wow. He had just woke up. Apparently there's a guy looking for a village. Just walked into our local. Okay, so where are we? Catch, catch me up. So I am recording this video, and I'm at the very first shot. I'm not gonna. I'm trying not to spend a lot of time on it. Uh, I'm a perfectionist, <laughs> so I, it's gonna be very hard for me to do this. All this time, and uh, you're still on the first. I'm shot. on the first shot, so I'm gonna okay. insert. If I just uh, there's two different kinds of tracks that you can add to this. Well, there's there's more, but the two main tracks that you can add to this is either audio or video, right? Okay. Simple. Uh, to add a video track, you just right click here and you add an audio or video. Uh, the next 
you, I can right click in here and I can add media, like a, a picture. I can add, uh, in this case, I want to add a text. I did not, oh yes, I did. So I add text and I'm going to call Wilbur the pig. And I'll use some random, random font. Let's keep going through. There's one. Uh, so I have Wilbur the pig, and that's actually quite big. I can make it smaller. There's a bunch of different ways you can make it smaller. In this case, I will just uh, change the. I don't know if I want to change the scale. I will just change the font size. Okay. So here's Wilbur the pig. So let's see how the mu and I will try to match it up to the music. I'll do some some fades. The problem is is that I need the shot to last longer. <laughs> So what I can do is I can hold, I can hold control and time stretch it out, <laughs> making the shot, the part of the shot that I want to last as long as I, as long as I need it to last. Okay, now you're like seeing a whole bunch of technical stuff. Yeah, you can't see my screen. That's okay. It might not be, yeah, because I can't see your screen. But uh, maybe I'll make this just tiny. And add. Sounds like you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm spending so much time on this first shot because I want it to get right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like switching it up. <laughs> well, I think, I mean, I feel like we should get to the point where our viewers can get the gist of it. Sure. Uh, and then so let me we'll just add some the, shots. We can post the final product um, along with our video. Sure. So keep going while while I while I go with this. Okay. So XX Kid Nuff XX mm -hmm. says it's a pretty big deed. How much cost all of it? How much does cost all of it? <laughs> what do you think? All of I'm supposing that they are looking at our deed, which yes, it is a very big deed. Um, and I think we've answered this kind of question before, uh, but just to maybe help you get an idea again, um, I'll tell you how big the deed is and you can figure out how much it costs. Um, it's 43 tiles wide, or is it 41? 41 tiles wide by 83 tiles long. I might be getting that wrong, but it's somewhere in that vicinity, 40 by 80. So yeah, costs a lot. Um, here's another one. Kyle Orr says, enjoying the series a lot. Keep it up, guys. Pretty new Celebrations resident here. Okay, so he's talking about the Celebration server. Any chance of you two could give us a breakdown of all your skills and how much or little work you've done with each? Thanks for the vids. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I think we can do that, or at least briefly. Um, I did not hear that question. So the question is, any chance the two of you could give us a breakdown of all your skills and how much or little work you've done with each? So I think we'll do this in a, in a way that um, from the most amount of time spent to the least amount of time spent on our top, I don't know what, five skills? What do you say? Sure. Okay, um, I guess I'll start. You're a little, you sound a little busy there. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, <laughs> I I get really focused in on the project that I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. So well, I'd say that the the number one skill that I focused on, um, spent most of my time on is blacksmithing. Um, I couldn't say how much time because it's it. I I also get focused in on it. Oh, here's a cat, and. <laughs> <laughs> just such a great episode. I'm gonna keep going. Um, I'd say that um, 
about 50% of my time skill grinding has probably been spent on blacksmithing. And over the time since I started playing, I've gotten it up to uh, 97 now. So yeah, that's my number one. Number two would be mining. Uh, it's at 86, and I probably spent 25% of my time on that. Um, everything else... I wouldn't say that I've grinded really anything else. Maybe beverage making I've grinded for a bit. Um, it's a, in the 30s somewhere. Um, I've grinded locksmithing. That's in the 40s somewhere. Um, but not, not too long, I guess. There's a couple skills that I haven't grinded at all, but they're in the 50s, like carpentry, for example, just from doing stuff, and uh, masonry from building and cutting bricks. Uh, yeah, so that's where I am. Do you have time to, to go through yours? Or do you want me to do I'm yours? going through like a bunch of skills that I've worked on. Is that the, is that the point? Yeah, yeah, like your your yeah, the, the, your top skills that and the time that you spent on them. Uh, I guess my top skill is carpentry. Okay. Uh, and the great thing about carpentry is that it also goes up well I skill up other things like yeah, that's you know, like, shipbuilding like ship and fine carpentry, and I guess that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I've got ninety three, ninety three carpentry. I just hit the ninety three mark actually yesterday. So thank you. Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I. <laughs> I don't know what else is there uh how, how do i pick my top skills what else do uh, i have i've got like 85 or 86 or something masonry uh yeah I've you're, got you're like you're like a jack, jack of all trades did i hit 88 i think i hit 88 wood cutting so i've Maybe. been really trying to work on that but then recently i've been trying to get my spine carpentry up because i haven't really worked on that for a while and i got that up to about 76 or something uh, I worked on pottery a bit because we wanted to make compasses, so I got that to seventy something. Yeah. Uh, what else is in the eighties? I don't even know. My shipbuilding's in the fifties. Okay, so My... like you're like you're like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little sure. bit of everything else. Yeah. What else can you say? I without looking at my sheet, I I can't. I can't. Tell I know that you I'm got at. your pottery. Did you say pottery? I said pottery. Yeah. Um, Can you think of any I other skills that I do? Shipbuilding and fine carpentry and carpentry, masonry and stone cutting. Your stone cutting is pretty high, if I remember right. Um, I don't know. Yep. <laughs> what else so, did yeah, I do? We spend a lot of time on on those those skills. Like I mean, those are the main skills. I know you're picking up a new skill. Um, Maybe we shouldn't reveal what that is yet. Um, okay, so we got another question here uh, from Roy Mulligan. My question is, I just made a new deed today. How do I get more players to join me? Good question, <laughs> Adam. Uh, yeah, this game is a, is a social game. It's not about people necessarily joining you, but it's about making connections with people. So talk to people, get to know them. Make friends, make connections, hang out. Uh, maybe one of them will want to join you eventually. I don't know, or or maybe you'll join them. It's one or the other. So you you really have to reach out to people and talk to them, and don't be annoying. <laughs> I don't know. That's my advice. So that's all the questions that we have. Uh, how's the video progress going? How is the video progress going? Let's find out. Uh, I don't want that part. I am going, let's see, I'm about 20 seconds in. <laughs> okay, of a 50 second video. Of a 50 second video, let me see. Okay. Of a, of a so, 48 second video. So. I feel Let's like see. there's no way that we'll be able to finish in time for the end of this because we've already been going for our max. <laughs> oh god, how long is I hope this video is not too long. I'm, you always I'm, hope that this video is not too I'm long. I'm almost no, I'm not almost done, am I? 
So I'm trying I would to go like to give one like one quick village update because there's one major thing that you did like under my nose that I just logged on today and was like, whoa, okay, wow. <laughs> let me get into the game. Now, as I'm loading into the game, so far it says, Wilbur the pig loves Chastity the cow. Okay. And then it says that uh, forced apart. So they've been forced apart, and then they sh show the two of them. In the pens. In the pens. Yeah. Uh, what, el what other shot? So let, let's go quickly to that she's going to get slaughtered <laughs> without saying that. Are you loading into the game? or I'm loading oh. into the game. Okay. So what, what, what part could we use there? But uh, I'm going to switch back to just the game for now, I guess. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to show the final product. Sure, I'll do it later. Because it'll probably take another hour for you to finish that thing <laughs> at the rate you're going. <laughs> probably. Okay. It is daytime. Yay. Yeah. I'm trying to not crash this. There we go. Alright, so which part are you talking about? Uh, follow me. Well, right, well, we should be looking right at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I finished, or at least I started... The castle I like entrance, it. which I, I like it. It's just like it's just the entrance. So this is like it already feels like an epic castle, and the the houses on the left and right are still not tall yet. Yeah, they're still pretty low. But um, I think that this thing looks really cool. It's just the entrance, not even the castle part. So um, yeah, I like it. I like the look of the tall stone buildings and the what do you call them parapets. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I like that look. I think we're going to have to do that all around our entire place. Should be pretty epic. We'll do something like that. Hey, this stuff's been growing, so the ole Olander bushes and the, the hedges. Yeah. Uh, what else did I do? I finally finished all the bottom level perimeter of the castle walls. Castle walls of the castle. So like all the perimeter at the first level is completely done. There goes Adam. So my internet seems to shut out. Oh, here he comes back. Yep. And let's see if I can get his video. You might have to click the video button a couple mm. times. Yep. There we go. As Adam's loading back in, I started putting some marble down. Mm -hmm. It's very extremely bright at the moment, but I got it down just in our entrance area. We'll have it throughout the castle. I also spent a good portion of the time putting uh, cobblestone floors everywhere. I noticed that. That makes things Every a lot nicer. Every single building, and that took a while. Uh, I also want to get rid of these tall stone walls. I'm trying to create paths in the outside Let's to try to connect the buildings together just just as they uh as as you finish all this this cobblestone they're gonna they're gonna fix it you know yeah <laughs> making it so you don't need to actually put cobblestone underneath uh, yeah uh, so I yeah all did, the buildings are done i think i made a couple mistakes i might have to destroy some walls and redo it but you know it's the process there's a part over here where I always get lost. Where? I have to learn it. Um, I think it's back here. Somewhere where I'm trying to go from one building to the next. It's going to be big and it's going to even be... You're going to get lost even more because we're going to have passageways and... Tons <laughs> of passageways everywhere. <laughs> And rooms like this is like one giant room right now, but we're gonna have mm. little little passageways and even secret passageways. Ooh, just utilize the areas and make it <laughs> seem like a castle instead of making it seem like you know, one giant giant room. Yeah, I can't wait till we get all the interior walls and everything. That's just gonna make this so much more confusing. I'm already lost. As it is, I feel like I'm in the back building. I'll somewhere. find you later. 
Yeah, okay, well, yeah, that's that. And I think that's it. That's all we really I really did this week. Well, that's all. <laughs> Was those buildings I finished I I I must have used like 5000 bricks and mortar. That's I nice. finished a couple buildings. I finished the walls in the front. Each one took about a thousand mm -hmm. bricks and mortar. I finished. There was a bunch of the buildings last week that I didn't have done. Now it's completely done. Mm. Anyway, so that's it for that. I see you mined out all of our iron. <laughs> I know that didn't take very long. That was pretty quick. Oh uh, well. I've also been working on getting back into the market. That's uh, yeah. So that's been happening. Well. Yeah. That's You've been on the got, forums. Finally got my workshop up. Finally got on the forums. I don't think anybody, probably most people don't know my forum name, which isn't so bad. You can probably figure it out. It's McGarnagle. Ah, oh, damn you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he d he decided not to use the same name as in game, so his name on the forums McGarnagle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, anyway. Take it away. The ending. Yeah, I think that you're gonna have to do it because I don't know how. I haven't practiced this. So. All right. Well, guys, thank <laughs> you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of how I create these videos, um, which is something that you you should be saying right now. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a completely, I guess, Adam's idea to do this like whole thing, uh, to host it and do all that stuff. Thank you for hosting it. Yep. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. I will finish this cow trailer and display it after this video. You guys the can watch trailer. it too. The pig trailer, the pig cow love love story. <laughs> uh, tragic the love epic, story. Epic tragic love story. Yeah. So if you want to make a comment on any of our videos and watch more of our videos, go to serversardown.com. Follow us on Twitter at Factional Fight and like us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, servers are down.com but I would definitely recommend going to our website where all of our links are available at servers are down.com and I guess that's it until next time thank you for watching we'll see you guys on the next episode take care guys <laughs>